Okay, th this other one, I've already corrected this guy, but we should go we should go into it because I keep hearing this over and over and over, both on Linux side and Mac side. Uh, and it, it's just not true. I, I know where it comes from, and I'm not biting the guy's head off, but it's one of those things people need to understand the difference. I'm talking about the highlighted part of Q1. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, it, it, it's... Okay. OS X and Linux are both Unix-like systems. The Linux kernel is a recreation of the Unix core. It's a clean room recreation that solves the same problem in a slightly different way. Uh, it has more favorable licensing, but they are not the same. Unless you're doing it at the binary level, unless there's something I don't know about, you can't take a Unix or OS X installer and run it on Linux. It just doesn't work, and vice versa. Uh, there was a project for a while that was aiming to do that, and they made some limited success, but it just did not work consistently. Yeah. Uh, and, like, and this gets more confusing because people are like, well, wait a minute, if they're Unix-like, why aren't they the same? It's like, and, they, and, they have, and they're both multi-user environments. They're both very similar cores, but at the end of the day... You might as one of you might as well be living on Venus, and one of you might as well be living on Mars. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's, uh, which one Linux would be and which one Unix would be, I don't know. Um, it's like in this case, the person was going, you know, well, can I just install OS X installers on Linux? Like then I'd have everything I need. But so I'm like, uh, I can't remember it. There's a project that's trying to get that going. There's basically a, an OS X version of Wine. And I can never yeah. remember what it's called. Yeah, I mean, the last time I looked at that, it was actually a dead project, but they oh, may it, be working it, on it. Maybe again. that would be why I can't find it anymore then, because I've been like looking for it for the last week or so, and I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I mean, I don't know how else to say this. I, it's I honestly, I blame Steve Jobs because nobody was confused about this until in 2000, Steve Jobs got on stage and introduced OS X as having a Linux-like kernel. And, and ever since then, you know, people have been saying, well, isn't OS X based on Linux, or, or isn't Linux based on OS X, or it's like people have been confused ever since then. And I don't think Steve Jobs did that intentionally. He was saying exactly what he was saying. You know, this is a Linux-like core. It has a lot of the strengths that the Linux core gives Linux operating systems, except we're using Unix. <laughs> it's like, that's... Um, like, and there's nothing inherently wrong with that. Um, <laughs> my, how the tables have turned in a decade, because now Linux is a dirty word at Apple. <laughs> Almost as bad as Flash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost. Almost. <laughs> I, 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 well, see, the difference is Apple actively attacks Adobe. They just pretend Tux doesn't exist. Very different. It's like we're, we're, we're passively being ignored. <laughs> as opposed to actively being attacked. Slightly different. <laughs> uh, any two cents to add on that? Um, the, well, the, the uh, large part of the reason why people are uh, confusing that is a lot of people are saying that Linux is Unix, and a lot of people are saying that Mac is Unix, so they must be the same. And the other reason being that a, a few distros are starting to look and feel a little more like, like Mac. Uh, I, 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 I wasn't going to come right out and say it. Because what I'll it, say it. Like for that, but, but there are a lot of similarities inherent to the newer versions, I'll say that. A lot of the icon schemes, a lot of the, the default themes, the, the, the buttons on the upper left-hand side of the window, <laughs> these are all things that are very easily changed, but yeah. they do tend to favor Mac. Well, I'd say, and that's one of the reasons I don't really like that particular distro is because I don't like a Mac to begin with. It, aside from my problems with Apple, my big problem, even if Apple fixed all their problems, unless they added functionality on to let you change that UI to suit your taste, I could never use a Mac as my primary OS because I can't stand that UI. <laughs> uh, 
but that's. <laughs> But no, it's like it's like, and that honestly pisses me off. And I see a lot, like what you're talking about, a lot of Linux people doing that, saying Linux is Unix. Uh, and I I could swear Linux spent the better part of a decade fighting lawsuits against Novell and other company, or was it no? I forget who it was, but basically the people who own Unix going, no, we are not infringing on your frickin' patent. Leave us alone. <laughs> it's like. And the, the courts finally did agree. How, how, how long did that take to finally get settled? It's... I don't know, 12 years or so? Yeah. It's like, so it's like, it's, it's like, it's like, it always kind of annoys me when there's like some kid who discovered Linux like two years ago who comes in and says, well, it's Unix. It's like, I'm like, you know, that was fighting words a few years ago. It's like, like they don't realize what they're saying. It's like, Fortunately, the judge was paying attention to the facts and not what Linux fanboys were saying. Because <laughs> that could have been real detrimental for Linux, to be quite honest. Uh, uh, although, it, it, it would be nice if... The, it's like, the, 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 what the guy's hinting on is a better thing. Uh, in their case, like, they love Linux. They have this one piece of software that's made for both Windows and OS X but not Linux. They're like, this is the only thing I'm dual booting for. This one piece of software. I would gladly give them money, but they won't sell it to me. It's, it's like... And, and for a lot of people, it's, it's one game, it's one uh, relatively small application. Yeah. The one thing that I could see myself dual booting for is the Ustream producer app. And I refuse to do it. I'll put out a slightly lower quality live stream at that point. Well, this is why I really hope I can get that side project. I want I can get a good group of people and get that going because I'm like that. That's a problem that needs to be solved. That that's. But there's a whole mess of applications. Like I got a list of about fifty. This is a project for next year. But it's like I I asked and people were nice enough to point out what they are and and they're all valid apps. They're all valid reasons. Um, that's not, and it's like, and these are, you know, this is the Linux community going, we want to buy this, they won't sell it to us. And, and you know, I, I think this spurs off of another problem, which is the general consensus is uh, us hippy-dippy Linux users don't like to pay for anything. Uh, and I, I would argue that... Um, more Windows users are likely to steal the software than uh, Linux users. Why I'm sure there are some Linux users who would pirate it, just as there are some OS X users who pirate. Um, generally speaking, I find most people who are actively trying to convert to Linux as their primary OS, it's at that point, it's not about being free. Uh, because these are usually people who could get a pirated copy of Windows in five minutes. Uh, uh, these are people who are sort of like, they prefer this workspace environment and or stability and or files. Like they're, they're using Linux because they want to use Linux. It says the, the money is entirely a secondary thing. Um, so it, it's, and, and honestly, if you're building, it, the thing is, like we've said several times before, is Linux users will not buy stupid software. Yeah, I, I don't ever see the, oh, this five twenty dollars app that runs like crazy on Windows and some of them are finding traction on Mac ever really flying on Linux. Because I'm like, we didn't pay for the OS, we're not going to give you $20 for to, to, to look at bunnies hopping around or something. This is not going to happen. 